All right, guys. A few days went by. Uh, took a few days off for the July 4th weekend. Hope everybody had a good 4th. Our crew did at the park. Watched the fireworks cooked out. Watched uh, Firecracker 200 for sale. It was a good race. A good time for everybody. So uh, let's get in the shop. I think Bob and them's already here working. See if we can't get this car finished up and see if we got the problem fixed. Bob's hooking the shifter up, the dry shaft in, then we'll bleed the clutch, then we'll get the car on the ground. We're gonna take that one on. Get the car on the ground and <laughs> make sure we ain't got any more vibrations. Hopefully we got that problem figured out. What'd you do over the fourth? Bob wasn't with us on the fourth. He had other plans. What'd I went you do, to, Bob? I went to Brookville. Brookville? Yeah, I had a good time. All right, I'm gonna go get our carburetor box out here at the trailer. So thanks everybody for tuning in, watching us, supporting us. Our subscribers are going up. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel, please, please, please. Our subscribers are going up daily. Our views are getting, uh, we're getting a lot of views every video we post. So if everybody would like and share on our social media pages, share our YouTube channel for us. Appreciate everybody's support so far. Bobby's putting the axle in. We'll order a new axle for that car so we didn't have to share axles no more. I'm making us another fuel line fitting. Carburetor. You've probably seen that in another episode because I think I'd made a About fuel line for this other car. <laughs> Do it all in house, one stop shop. Here's the thing, look here. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you got like you scared. All right. Well, if the camera wasn't on, Austin oh, usually oh, just stands oh, there. No. <laughs> oh, Ancient Chinese secret heat your hose up so you put on the fitting, it goes a lot easier. professional fuel line maker for all your fuel line needs contact me pit vipers while i'm doing fuel lines guaranteed to gain an extra gallon of fuel in my fuel that right scott got these pit vipers on i gain an extra gallon of fuel there you go oh god business in the front party in the back boy Woo! professional fuel law we got parts from 1994 we got Bart from 1998. And it's all going to do the same thing uh -huh. as a brand new one. I promise. Who did? Who's that? Yeah, he took their money this weekend. Old Whiskey Racer took their money up north this weekend. Congrats to Walt. Taking their money, man. So we had to find a couple fuel fillings, a carburetor. We had to send that new carburetor that was not very good to say it nice, right, Bob? Right. We had to send well, it back. They left our fuel log uh, on it, so they're sending those back to us. So we're doing the makeshift for now. So we're going to get our other carburetor going. Now put that where you know where you where it's at, where you need it. Okay. What is this, a 1500 CFM? This one here. <laughs> So 1150 CI, yeah. CI. <laughs> 1150. Spread more. <laughs> Alright, got the carburetor on. Got the car running, idle fit on the ground. <laughs> Make sure we got a clutch pedal. Maybe give it a test right out the driveway or down the road. Make sure we ain't got no more vibrations. Don't, don't break the transmission again. So, don't let it run. Fine tune the carburetor and we'll pump it on the ground. So, our plan is to hopefully race this car this coming Sunday, Mountain Home Speedway, 30 laps. Then, our next race two weeks later, July 25th or 26th, we're hoping to race the red chassis car that we ran at Anderson and won two weeks ago at Mount Lawn with. Hope to just put a car cover over it that's so good and leave it be and not take a chance to get tore up this week and missing out on the 100 lap rain tree 100. So that's the plan of getting this car tested before the end of the week, make sure we're good to go and running it. All right, we just got the car scaled with our spring changes. Everything looked good, scaled good. Should be fast. Uh, we're gonna try to take it to the track tomorrow, right? Yeah. Go to the track tomorrow and test it, make sure 
everything's fixed and we ain't uh, got no bad vibration ain't gonna break another transmission hopefully so that's the plan we'll keep you guys updated we'll make another video at the track hopefully tomorrow wednesday today's tuesday so all right guys we're headed to mount lawn uh shake the car down uh, hopefully the transmission dry shaft u joints all hold up and everything's good uh, we're trying to beat the the rain looks like we got some rain coming in but we don't need five or ten laps to make sure we got our problem fixed so uh, we'll be here in just a minute we'll get unloaded i'll get the fire suit on and we'll shake the car down and hopefully everything's fixed hopefully this is a good video don't turn it into a bad video so got austina riding with me everything's gonna be good eh? what Good. Yeah. I think I have no problem today. I think so. Again, appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, YouTube channel, follow us on social media. Appreciate everybody's support. Uh, come on out, out to Mount Long Speedway this Sunday, 6 p.m. 30 lap feature. This is the last tune up before the 100 lapper in a few weeks. So. All right, guys, we're here. Mountain Speedway pit entrance. Going over the bridge, over the little creek. There's an old bridge over there. You can't really see it, but so I got some paving work done. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, Freddie Hopkins got her paved. Uh, all that loose gravel and dirt ain't gonna be blowing in our face now while we're lined up waiting to go on the track. This is all paved, and even went past our pit stall, so working out good for us so we'll get Bob and Scott's already here got it unloaded and uh, we'll get out here and shake her down I'm gonna give you guys a ride and a view you guys ain't expecting. I'm gonna give you guys a view from underneath the car. We're gonna see what our dry shaft and yoke's doing just to make sure we ain't got no problems. I mean, it was all right out there, no vibrations, but we're gonna give you guys a good angle. It's gonna be a good angle for us too to sure do some research. Make sure yeah. it goes all the way down. Hey, Bob, there's these two old men sitting on the park bench one day talking. Uh -huh. I'm a big baseball fan, you know. Yeah. The old man. Jack the old it up man some more, Bob. Man. Says, I wonder if there's baseball in heaven. I don't know. He said, well, when the first one of us dies, we're going to come back and tell the other one if there's baseball in heaven. He says, okay. Well, what, two months later, old Joe died. That's it, Bob. Joe died, and a month goes by, and Pete's sitting on the park bench one day, and here comes Joe's ghost. Here. Joe says, tell me, is there a base baseball in heaven? He said, well, I got good news and bad news. What's the good news? The good news is, yes, there's baseball in heaven. He said, what's the bad news? He said, you're pitching Monday. <laughs> How'd you guys like that? Woo! <laughs> Drop us a comment. Let us know if you like that angle. Maybe we'll show you guys some more different angles like that. China showed up. PR guy. Thought he's going to bring us some hats and shirts. Nothing. Showed up empty handed. I told you don't ever come empty handed. I got a handful of something for you. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> 
There we go. Did you get our new banners to hang on the back of the car? I got them. Okay. Yeah, I got them. I'm sure we Where's got new, yeah, new ones coming. Uh, I got a new hat design here. Yeah, check out our current hat, guys. Josh got the hat. prototype. Prototype right ready for order. Yeah, these are ready for order. If you guys want one, drop us a comment, message us, get a hold of us at the track. We'll get you one order. Now we got to figure out which one we want the design in the middle or in the corner. Ah, probably that. That's different looking, ain't it? Either one. We can do either. All I got to do is let them know. See. I like it on the, on the side. It seems to be the new wave. Yeah. Which one do you guys think? Drop us a comment. Which hat design? You like the big logo in the middle or a small left corner? Drop us a comment and let us know what you guys like. Because you guys, we're doing this for you guys. Let us know which one you guys like best. Yeah. There, hey, there's the owner of the Mount Law Speedway. There we are. Rick and Chris. Hey, <laughs> say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Those are two good people right here. Know them my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're putting her on the open box. Can't say in the box because it ain't a box. But this thing's nasty. Not cut out. Let me. I'll bring another one back. We'll put it up. Well, quit complaining. Shut up. Huh. Yeah, look at that. It's got barbecue sauce on it. We can't use that. <laughs> we don't need the wood, Scott. It's hitting right now. All right, guys. We're gonna get off here. We're gonna take the car home before it rains. I think it's about here. Wind's blowing. Feels good out though. It's been hot today. We're gonna get this home, unload it, massage on it, clean it up, just go through it before Sunday. Hopefully the rain stays away for Sunday. But everybody come out Mount on Speedway, six o'clock Sunday night, 30 lap feature, plus all their other regular show. We might be in the street stock too. It's unknown right now. <clears throat> we'll keep you updated with that. That is the plan. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate everybody's support and watching us. And hopefully we'll see you guys Sunday.